I'm going to preface this video by saying I tried something new that never occurred to me. Uh, cleaning the inside of my mouse, like, you know, where the laser comes out. Um, you're going to notice right away that the mouse now is buttery smooth. If it seemed a little bit choppy in the last few videos, it's because I'm an idiot and I never thought to do that. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, Snark Pit, let's go. Um, this was a uh, map made by Dario Casali again, who did uh, Boot Camp. His signature is also hidden on here, and I'm not going to reveal, reveal where that is, because I want you to find out for yourself. So, the thing about this one is that this is actually a map he made for Quake. Uh, there, it was called DCDM3. He had created it while he was waiting to work at, get his visa to work at Valve. Um, and I've never played the Quake version of it, but as far as I'm aware, it's pretty identical. I would imagine there's no actual Snarks there, because, you know, Snarks didn't exist if you've never played Quake there. Um, I would say... I'm just taking a look to see if everyone spawned yet. Yeah. Pardon me, that was a burp. Um, I would say this is actually not a very beginner-friendly map. I mean, like, you know, what the hell does that mean for multiplayer? Well, if this is one of your first multiplayer maps, you're probably not going to have a very good time. And I'm going to come out and say right now, I think visually this one kind of isn't that good looking. Like, it's serviceable, and you might be saying, well, what's the point of, like, you know, the point of a deathmatch map is to look, you know, is to be fun to play, not look good. Still, though, all the maps that we've looked at so far, you know, have, you know, had some, like, you know, you know, at least some, like, de like you know, decent to look at for 98. This one's a little bit blander. But it plays well enough. I wouldn't say it's quite my favorite, but I'm, I'm relatively fond of it. So, anyway, let's get started. Um, if you start up here, you had some shotgun ammo, as you saw there. I was over there as well. We'll go this way first. Now, the thing about this map is that it's a little bit more trap heavy than some of the other multiplayer maps. If you press this one, that lowers that, of course, and this is like pretty much insta kill slime. You can't get out of that. If you're really good, you can actually probably um, gauze jump across that, but I don't think I've ever done that. Got some trip mines there. Explosives, a lot of explosives here. Grab this as soon as you can and snipe down here or here. Really good, like, you know, spot. More explosives. The the titular snark pit, as you can see here, which I'll activate in a second. I, in fact, I think someone's already activated it earlier. The bots will do that. So let's go this way. Grab that SMG as soon as possible. We'll come back this way over a bit later. I want to stick up to this area because here's another trap. If you press this, you have a few seconds um, before this happens where whoever gets... Like, happens to be over here, will get stuck down in this little area and obviously be a sitting duck for whatever, like, you know, whoever wants to send, like, explosives or other bullets down that way. Uh, I'll show you what this is for later. Going down this way, though, is back where we started, so it's, it's a relatively roundabout map, but it is a little bit more confusing than some other ones, so like I said... Oh yeah, here you go, bot decided, um, postal guy decided to start up the snark pit here. Sometimes they come out fast, sometimes they come out slow. I think it depends on how much going on in the map, but there should be snarks coming out right now. I don't know, maybe the map glitched out. But yeah, that's that's how it works. Um, so let's go over here now. You got your little court art yard areas. This is where you lead into the like one some of the lower areas here. Got some explosives. Got, got an ammo, a uh, little, or not ammo, armor charge there. Coming into the other one, you'll notice something that I didn't bring up earlier, but we'll get to. It's an RPG up there. I'll show you how to get up there. Uh, you got some health pit, like, pick up, like, health chargers, but obviously, you want to be a little bit careful about using those, because, you know, you have to, like, if you pick a bad time to use those, you're probably going to die. Coming over here is that other area that we just came kind of... Uh, you saw earlier from the other side, and this is another, like, kind of, like, sub-area of the Stark Pit itself. Got some rockets, explosives. Very good stuff. Always a guaranteed uh, fun time for all. So, I'm gonna show you a little unorthodox here. Let me heal up myself, because I'm about to... Well, thank you, bot. I really appreciate that. Here's how you get the shotgun, I forgot to mention. And, go. so, if you go from here, is that area I pointed out earlier... Now, something a little interesting is that if you press this, this disappears so people can't get to you as easily, though. I don't really see the point of this one too much because you can always just gauze jump over. But if you press this, this is the only legitimate way outside of the gauze to grab the RPG. 
And obviously, it can be very effective if you send that down there. Blow up some fools. But let's head down, get to get those claymores. Now, this is an interesting road because this is an in incident slime, but it's going to slowly hurt you. You want to grab it and get that Egon as ASAP and get the hell out. Take advantage of this health pit if you spend uh, too much time there. And now the snark pit. Or, like, you know, it might not look like it, but you can get over here. If you go down here and you can spawn here, get the crossbow, which is in a really odd spot because you think it'd be more snipey kind of area. But it can be useful to blow up some people real quick and get the hell out. Because when I say it's a snark pit, well, the snarks could be dropping down here. Uh, dealing some pretty significant damage. Get that gauze. I'm gonna show you what this is in a second. Uh, it, uh you'll see, if someone pr I can't remember where the button is exactly, but there's a button to block off. And, like, you know, make getting out of here a little bit harder. But you have options. Oh yeah, this is the button. I can't believe I forgot about that. I think it's the button. No, 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 you know what this does? This affects the, uh, spinning thing here. I'm gonna show you something. Um, I've never been able to actually get these until now. Like, that might actually be the very first time ever I've ever grabbed those. It requires some pretty precise maneuvering to not get blown past and down to here. But yeah, that's a way to get out of the snark pit if things are getting a little too hot for you. And, uh, yeah. Not much more to say. Um, pretty solid map overall. Not quite my favorite, but it's up there, I'd say. And again, though, maybe don't play this, like, if you're just trying to get into Half-Life Deathmatch, maybe don't do this one first. If at any point you were going to guess that I was going to say that I recommend 8 people for this map, you'd be absolutely correct because, you know, it's... Again, that is just the, 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 the G-spot number for, like, these, like, the Half-Life maps a lot of the time. In my humble opinion. Let's get this going. The Snark's coming. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why they weren't showing up last time. Just to prove I wasn't crazy and lying. Oh, you couldn't handle that heat. Kind of wish I didn't go down so quickly, but... You know, I'm pretty sure last time I played this map for, like, the, the original version, that same color guard was there, but I could be wrong. I'm just unstoppable now that my mouse aiming isn't terrible. Okay, maybe not. I take it back, I take it back. My chance for redemption? Let's find out. Nope. Not, not, well, no, we're back to normal. Yeah, it's all good. I don't think any of the traps, like, you know, dropping people in the slime pit actually gives you a kill. It just takes away a kill from them. So you might want to keep that in mind. There you go. That's a little bit better. A little bit of a redemption there. All right. Obviously, if you don't want to take the uh, normal way up, you can also gauze jump up to here. Which I am doing a really good job of doing. Yeah, haven't missed a beat. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Oh, yeah, I forgot the, uh, the hive hand is there. I, I can't believe I didn't notice him at all. Yeah, dropping down some presents here might occasionally be a good idea. Depends on how many people are actually going around down there, though. But see, look at that sick double kill. That's what it's about right there, man. And, uh, yeah, Snark Pit. Um, good stuff. Go play it, unless you're a beginner.